Hong Kong is known as the international financial city that we have a perfect root of law, that we have a fair um, judiciary system, that we have um, basic freedom being protected by our basic law. Yeah. But if the extradition bill um, was passed in the Legislative Council, all these kinds of our um, advantages would be, for me, would be disappeared. Mm -hmm. Because if the um, bill is passed, I, I believe passed, that most of the um, Hong Kong people Hong would be all people coming to Hong Kong would be journalists or business desperate that um, tourists might have the no chance social to be, movement would um, surrender to mainland China. No longer appear if the bill is in Hong passed, Kong. I, of course, I, I believe that most of the Hong Kong people. I do not hope that be, this would be the future of Hong Kong. Would be desperate that. One of the main difference of the movement this time with the Umbrella Movement is that most people participated in the Umbrella Movement because they believed that there were hope. There were hope that we could fight for a real universal suffrage, which is a kind of democracy. But many people came out this time in this movement, including in the demos in, in the rally and yesterday in the strike. The because they are full of they desperation there were hope. There were and hope Beijing will have great power to, universal suffrage, to determine our a kind of democracy future and but determine many our people came life. out this time in this movement including the demos in, in the rally and yes the most important the thing is at this moment because they are we're still fighting desperation yeah we are focusing on three things what is the one is the fight on the street of Hong Kong that that after the violence of Hong Kong police yesterday that they even shoot targeting the head um, of protesters and in, and also reporters and I think we have to again think about the tactics of the movement and also I believe that the and democratic legislator will continue to fight in their ways in inside and outside the council and just like what I'm doing now is to is to try to gain the support from more governments and from the international community to impose pressure to Beijing and Hong Kong governments for Hong Kong people not only young people but including um, young people see this law as a very, very, very dangerous law. And Beijing will have a great power to, to determine our future and determine our life. The most important thing is at this moment, we're still fighting.